Hey everyone, it's Tilly Black, and welcome back to another episode of Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, it seems like we spent almost the entire episode of Space Junk Galaxy. But sadly, we have to go back into Space Junk Galaxy because I still want to get that other star. <laughs> I would at least like to do all of, like, the regular base stars in the levels. You know, the comet stars, I really don't care about. Because that's all it is, is just you going through one of the stars again, but with a gimmick. And I really don't want to do that. Same thing with the hundred coin stars. I don't really want to do the hundred coin stars. Then you also gotta think about all that green star shit, which I am not gonna do. I remember I played this little game when it came out, I didn't even do any of it. I did some of the green star stuff, but I just had no interest in doing that. I just felt like it was too much of a time waste. That star's still there. So now I'm just gonna get inside to that ball and get to that one that's inside here. Oh, boy. Ah, I'm yawning. I recorded one video, and here I am yawning. It's like, dude, quit yawning. Don't have to yawn. It's not even that late. It's only like 8 o'clock. Ooh, star. Hmm. Yeah. Music got real spooky. Just walk past these guys. Uh, I'm gonna shoot ya. Oh, get good, Toad. That was like a Mario Sunshine sound effect. Yeah, I could have. I could have easily have launched you into the hole, Toad. There was literally nothing holding me back from doing it. Oh shit! Okay, I got scared her for a second. Poor spiders. They're ouch, they're not even a threat. It's kinda why I don't wanna Nope. How do I get out of this? I see there was a mushroom on the other side. No, god damn it, I don't wanna. Stop. I do not wish to be good right now. a big old nice healthy mushroom here I want. Okay, now I don't mind getting good. Yay. Uh, to a random, random rock in the here. Get out of here, you fuzzy spiders. Probably never brought these enemies back. Uh, right into the big butthole. Yay. Uh, right into that big old butthole. You know, I've seen this movie already, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Toad? My, what is this thing? It's big and white and goopy, and it's not coom. <laughs> it's time to launch Mario into the big white goo. Ugh. He's got wings. Spiders don't have wings. Ugh, God, that's actually kind of scary. Oh, and he's spitting green shit. Right into his green boil. I missed. Oh no. No. There we go. Ew, it squirts pus. And right in his thick ass. Ugh. Get him! Get his big boils! Yeah. Nice. Well, I figured he wasn't done yet. Yeah. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, watch out. They're gonna squirt! Oh, you're not a spitter, you're a squirter. <laughs> Watch out, she squirts. 
I don't know what the hell I was going with that. Ouch! Okay. Oh, I thought I could get a, get that in. Knowing bug. Best thing for me to do is just, you know. I was about to say the best thing for me to do is just keep running. There, well, at least I see kind of see they want you to hit them because you don't, you know, you kind of don't. I was kind of hoping you could hit two and one. Sure is a neat boss, though. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice shot. And right, in, oh, right into the abyss. Dude, he went into the sun and died. This game's violent. I also like how the cursor affects the webs. Oh, can't even get the star. Mm. I'm just eyeballing it. Man, Phoenix is supposed to bring a package chain and then bastards didn't even show up. <laughs> this is why I prefer UPS when they ship stuff instead of FedEx. FedEx always gets here at like weird ass times. <laughs> of course I'm hungry, Luma. What's new? You know the thing is those sucks those I gotta rely on. This is just a one star one? Oh, yeah, it is. Kind of. I'll do the give this one a shot. I just wish that more companies that I actually like. Well, not companies, but. Oh, yeah, companies I kind of deal with. I wish they would actually, like, do shit with uh, UPS more. Because our UPS drivers are, like, really good. So we used to have this one FedEx guy that, that was really good, but I think he got, like, relocated to a different district. Which, of course, is poopy. Okay, I can't remember. Poindexter, tell me. The floor falls away when you step on it. Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, damn. I think that Goomba actually survived. Uh... <laughs> oh, this one here is scary. It's like a little death trap. Okay. Okay. Oh god, that was scary. Ha! Get out of here, you black hole. Wait, really? Dude, a person's literally gonna fall through and die. Dude, you if you did <laughs> If if you would be like on a panel or something that where that star was not was not like below you, you would leave far through and die. But I guess the benefit is that it's such a short galaxy. Yeah. I was actually expecting those panels to be kind of like the flip flop level in um Galaxy Two. I remember Galaxy Two is the one who started that, and 3D World had a level based kind of like around that concept. Except 3D were no Galaxy 2 is with the music. Now yeah, Galaxy 2 had the, like where they had that real funky beat and stuff, and it had um, the music time with that. I like that music. The music's pretty good. Yeah, 3D worlds actually had it, and that music on there was levels pretty damn good too. <clears throat> so we've got now more bolt bills. Oh, bob bombs. bob -Bob's just kind of lying around. <laughs> it's kind of random. Well, it take five years to blow up. <laughs> Respawn right away. Whoa! Come on! I kind of... Yeah, I might as well get some star bits while I'm at it. Let's see if I can get them right away. Nah. 
you have like a moment, a little period that when they, after they blow up that they don't, you can't collect them, I noticed. Mm, we're going to the ball, ball, ball world. You got color, you got red balls, blue ball, yellow ball, green ball, and big black balls. You know, Hungry Luma. Shit, I don't even think I have enough for you. How many do you want? Oh, 30. Shit, I only need one more. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, there must be something. Because I see there's a star here. Oh, wait, there's something over here. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess I can go to the Luma right away. See what the hell he's gonna do. Yes, I know your stuff. Yes. What do you got? Another head? No head? Hmm. Needle. Ah, uh, what the hell is this? This is Ammo Depot, not a garbage dump. What do people think they can just toss their trash here and it'll magically disappear? Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Gee, thanks. It's timed. Hmm. Go! Mmm. Damn, you kind of be smarter where you place these. Because it takes so long to explode. Oh my god, this is going to be close. Oh, come on. <laughs> Man. You do have to be perfect on your, almost perfectly precise on your throws. I kind of see where they want you to throw them, though. I really hope that's gonna reach that one in the corner. Oh, dude, okay. We're good. We're good. There. Look <laughs> at that Bob's work so well. Thanks, I owe you. Take this. Nice. Man, who the hell is just gonna have a star lying around? Of course, gold. Nice. Nice, nice. Everyone's favorite, the big ball planet. Ooh. Okay, I gotta remember where the hell that is. Hey, where are the bobs? Right here. I was kinda hoping it would reach that star. Kinda wanna get that star. Just, uh, just so I can run around and destroy the chain chomps. <laughs> Just for fun. Oh. There we go. Ah. Don't destroy cages. I just realized the star theme is just the wing cap theme from 64. There. I took care of all them. Now, where the hell are the bombs again? Right here. Got that Luma right here. Nice. What's up, buddy? Well, that was scary. That's my way. Thank you. I'll make a shortcut. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> uh. The more balls, saucer. 
Hmm. Not sure I really like Landmine City. Okay. Oh. Oh! No! Ho <laughs> ho God damn it, I got too greedy. Well, at least that one's out of the way now. Ha ha ha! Nice. Ooh, right around the ring. Ugh, oh, right around the rim, baby. Right around the ring, baby, Oh, What's the pipe? Okay. <laughs> now the bombs came sentient. Get him. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hmm, I see. I see, said the blind man to his deaf wife. Boy, I don't think I made that joke since, like, Hat in Time. Speaking of Hat in Time, I see Hat in Time has DLC out. More DLC. Community made DLC. The only problem is those I ain't gonna play because it it's multiplayer only. Which, you know, Hat Time wouldn't even need to make, like, Jesus. Hat Time wouldn't even have to make, like, paid DLC anymore because of the way the war- like, like, because of the workshop. Like, Gears for Breakfast would not have to make DLC themselves because of the way the workshop is, which I understand that's why they're doing that whole thing with having DLC that's so good. Getting, like, direct support from Gears for Breakfast. I almost stopped for that one up, and I wait—I just realized that would have been a waste. Oops. Here, I got hurt and it blew up anyways. Okay. Nice. <laughs> but I could, yeah, I completely understand where Gears for Breakfast comes from with... Allowing, like, paid DLC that people worked on, kind of like a, you know, like, like the workshop thing. But see, the Hat in Time is better because they're actually going to, like, have people that know what they're doing and actually have, like, good DL, like, workshop material become DLC. Not, like, stupid-ass Bethesda where they're like, wait, is this, is this world done? Oh, no, I still have to do the freaking Bowser level. Oh, there's still one left. Ah, so I got time to do it. Um, you know, because it's not like Bethesda when they did this stupid-ass DLC, paid DLC shit for Skyrim, which I think is probably the dumbest. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no. No, it wasn't Skyrim. It was Fallout. Where it's someone like, I made this cool weapon skin, and it's $5, and it's like, why? <laughs> you know, I always thought that them introducing DLC where you can pay for it, like, like, Workshop? No, no, let me rephrase this, because I'm... I'm trying to talk a serious conversation while I'm trying to play a game and it never works out. Then I just sit here and shake my head and think to myself, spit it out, dude, when I'm editing. Um. Oh, shit. I always thought that the way Bethesda did that thing where people made mods and then they charged you for it, which is always like really stupid. You know, everyone, the people, a long time, for a long time, people that made mods for PC games always did it for, like, free. You know, sure, they always have, like, donations, so there's nothing wrong with that, but I just find it weird that Bethesda try to monetize it. What do you got to say? The power lines are keeping my friend locked. Hit him with something to cut the power off. Oh, aren't you supposed to be the one hitting it? Okay, she can't step on him, obviously, because he has that spike. I actually think you're supposed to just hit him into it. Oh, well. Oh, oh. Actually, it was what you are supposed to do. Okay. Well, that works for me, I guess. <laughs> you know, but see, like, go back to my point, though, is Gears for Breakfast, it made sense. Because... 
a lot of stuff that people can make and had time are going to be really good. But see, the thing is, though, is at least they're not mon trying to monetize the entire workshop. Then it'd be dog shit. So, really, like I'm saying is, I, uh, monetize work sh uh, mod content if it's, like, really good. It's really what I'm saying. You know, people shouldn't have to, uh, monetize a costume to make Hat Kid look like, uh, Kiru from Yakuza. And it's, like, that's not something that someone should be paying $2 for. I guess that's really the end, um, argument I'm trying to get through. But stuff that adds, like, 30 levels to the game or something like that, and it's all, like, has a bunch of custom-made assets and shit like that, and... You know, that, that it makes 100% more sense. I don't need that one up, I got enough lives. Okay, we got some coins. No, no, eh! Well, at least took him out. <clears throat> so that, that's, that's that's my point on that, or my opinion on it, anyways. Okay, what we got? Uh, I can see why they put those goombas there. And why I do that? Try to get you to bounce on him, and then you know, sit there and fly off. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I very much appreciate you doing that. Hmm. Goodies. Works for me. Mmm, spooky. I'm getting Star Fox vibes. Star Fox 2 vibes, to be more precise. Mmm. No. Damn, this is kind of depressing watching these hitting these guys in there and they get zapped and blow up. Kind of depressing. Ooh. Oh, what's behind the blue door is gravity. <laughs> Damn. Man, everything gets destroyed in Mario's wake. Good lord. Is this a boss? It sure seems like a boss. I, I can sit there and buy stuff from him. I don't need it. Mmm. It came from outer space, and it's angry! <laughs> Ouch. These guys, guys don't hurt you, they just disorient you a little bit. Going to the electricity, thank you. Oh, now I gotta bring some buddies out here now, huh? That's okay. They didn't matter. <laughs> they didn't make a difference. At all. <laughs> mm, good stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, that means next week I do the Bowser level already. Mm. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check the description below for all of my social media links. Uh, don't forget to ring that bell to stay notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.